Hello everyone, I am Adam. Welcome to the Vintage Sanctuary. I have a dilemma. I just recently created a video where I showed the contents of two care packages. However, the contents were stolen out of one of those care packages while it was in transit. And I've reached out to the YouTuber who sent that package. He's embarrassed about the situation, even though it's not his fault. And so I cannot publish that video because there's no way to do so without exposing uh, him. So he and I will have conversation and, uh, you know, see where this goes. I don't expect him to send me any more cards. Uh, I did get a wonderful greeting card from him. But I am not going to put him in an embarrassing situation. Okay, why is this, this a dilemma? because the contents of the other care package from Joe for Soft Corners, I did get. He sent me a card and I really love the card, but he sent me clues with it and I would love to have you hear my uh, initial reaction to those clues. So what I'm going to do is uh, create a new video where I open the package again, but I'm going to try to use the audio from the original video and you know splice it uh, so that you're not seeing the other care package at all, so that you will hear the original audio of me opening Joe's uh, wonderful gift, and uh, you'll see my react, you'll hear my reaction to the clues, but the actual opening of the package will be a reenactment. So that's my plan. I'm going to see if I can pull that off. And also, by the way, you will see a card in the background. I thought about putting a card of the player that he got me, but that would give it away in case you are playing along and thinking about the clues yourself. So the card in the background is not the player he got me. I just wanted to give you something to look at. Another grail card in my opinion, although, you know, a lot of people would not call this a grail card, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So without further ado, uh, here comes the reenactment of the opening. I hope, I hope it works out. Oh, and again, just to remind everyone, it's a reenactment of the opening, but it's the original audio from my original opening when I had no clue what Joe had sent me. Okay, now I guess there was some further ado, but here we go. And now Joe, okay, here's the deal. Joe sent me this, 4SC, four soft corners. I did cut the end, but I have not opened it up yet. So before I open it up, uh, let me just say, I have no clue what's inside here. If it's a card, if it's a single card, Joe, I do know this, there are 81 possibilities. Um, how did I come up with 81? Well, I am a mathematician. Okay, let's consider the upper left corner. It could be either soft, sharp, or non-existent if it's been cut off, for example. So there's three possibilities. But for each of those three possibilities, the upper right corner could be either sharp, soft, or cut off, non-existent. So that's three times three, or nine possibilities. The same three possibilities for the lower left and the same three possibilities for the lower right corner. So that's three to the fourth power or 81. So there are 81 possibilities. How sweet for the corners on this card, assuming it's a card. And I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, check this out. Okay. I've got some hints here. Adam, I saw this and just knew it should belong to you. Hope you don't have it yet. Hope this bribed you enough into subscribing. Take care, Joe. Uh, four soft corners. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's great. Uh, you know what? Um, I like to think I have integrity, but uh, uh, yeah, you could probably bribe me into subscribing. <laughs> this is just a little joke between Joe and I. I'm already a subscriber. I enjoy his content very much. Let's see, 31st place in 1947 MVP voting, uh, 28th place in 1950 MVP voting, 12th place in 51, 17th place in 53, average of 22nd place. I'm going to guess Eddie Lopat. Um, 
because I believe he was in the league all of these years. He was with, I think, the Chicago White Sox, and then 50, 51, 53, he was with the uh, New York Yankees. Math is fun, not acidic. So I'm going to guess uh, this is an Eddie Lopat card. Which one? Hmm. I'm going to, I'm just taking a guess here. I'm going to say it's his 1950 Bowman. Let us, look at this. Look at this. He's got this set up with little tabs here. This man is the master of packaging. Let's see what we have. Oh, whoa, look at that. This is the Burks Ross Eddie Lopat. Wow. And out of the 81 possibilities, this has four sharp corners. Wow. Joe, Joe, you went way too far. Wow. That is sweet. You know what? If I just upload this to YouTube, uh, maybe when I make another video, I'll have this with the music in a sanctuary in the outro. Um, wow. That is absolutely stunning that is awesome and um the year on this i'd I'd have to look it up i think this might be like a 52 uh burks ross but i will look it up wow wow that is so sweet that is so sweet wow I did not have that low pat. Uh, that is super awesome. Thank you both. Thank you everyone for sharing in my joy. I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the Vintage Sanctuary.